third installment on the uh, dragon intarsia that I've been trying to do, at least the dragon head part. Uh, and the, uh, this is sort of an update, and it'll show you where I'll try to show you where I'm at currently and what I hope to do next. But first of all, hopefully the sound is now better than it has been on the previous uh, installments of this. Uh, we've got a new camera. The mic seems to be working pretty well in the terms of uh, clarity. So we'll see. Let me know if it's still tough to see or in here. And uh, I don't know. I can't afford to buy a lot of different cameras, but you know, I, I can try to improve the uh, sound quality maybe with a better mic or something on this one. So anyway, at this point, I've cut uh, the large blocks out of the wood, those, uh, those segments that are made from the same colored wood or the same kind of wood. I haven't actually cut the individuals out yet, uh, individual pieces out yet in all cases, but uh, that's what I'm, that's kind of where I'm, that's my next step is to finish that cutting and I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to change the camera angle down and we'll take a look at what I have and I have a couple of problems that uh, I should be aware of doing the same kind of things that I've done. I can, I'm going to explain one overriding issue that I have as far as fitting uh, wood parts together. And anyway, we'll, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. But uh, I'm going to change the camera angle and I'll be right back. Although, I'll probably, you probably won't see me. I'll probably be behind the camera. All right, thanks. Okay, here we are. Uh, this is where I've uh, laid out the head. And you can see I have uh, some of the bigger parts. This is all one wood and I haven't yet cut the little uh, sections out. That'll be the next step. Here is some, uh, you know, different colored woods that aren't actually the, the correct heights or anything. And some of these don't even fit in yet. And I tend not to want to do a lot of sanding until I actually cut out the uh, parts surrounding it so I can actually be sure of, of what's loose and what's tight and what might loosen up on cutting the individual pieces out here. Uh, for example, this, this, uh, uh, I guess it's maple, fits into this uh, purple heart here. And obviously it doesn't go in, it's kind of close. But if I cut, when I get through cutting, when I get through cutting these, some of these parts may fit better than others going in there, and then I can just uh, reduce the, t the amount of sanding based on that. And that's what's going on in most of this. Now, in some, of the, in some cases, uh, like this one, you can tell how high this is, how high this is above the, f the face of the uh, dragon. And this is some kind of spur or horn or something. That may be a good thing. We'll have to see how it starts to look when I start sanding. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because um, I did not, and what I normally do on, on, on intarsia is I take and I plane down all the wood that I'm going to use to one level and then cut out the parts. And then as I feel the need to raise or lower based on... Uh, on how close a certain parts of the, of the object, in this case the dragon, how close they are to the viewer as opposed to how far away they are. Because the dragon loops away like this, but this wing, if you can see it, comes up. So uh, that's what I'll have to take a look at the head and see how that works out. Uh, and I was, I did do the, uh, the redwood, and what I had to do with the redwood is I took it and laminate I don't know if you can see that or not but if you can there's a line right here that's where the two pieces are laminated together and that these things are sticking up pretty high so I know I'm gonna have to reduce those down but I think I'm gonna wait until everything fits and then I'll just uh, work on the, the height now one of the problems that uh, I should have known and I probably did know and I just ignored that when you take a pattern uh, and you increase it, not only do you increase the overall size, but you also obviously increase the the line widths. Okay? So what happens is you have a thicker line, and I normally, the blades I use are normally a number three, a number five, and in this case I use a number seven. And the number seven, all I ever, the only thing I ever do with that is just on the outside 
areas, things that do not match up with anything else. Um, that's because it's such a kerf that comes out of them uh, that uh, I don't like them on interior type cuts. What I 90% of the time I'll use a number three scroll saw reverse uh, because even though it you use up those blades quite a bit and they lose their sharpness, etc. It's still, I have a hard problem with kerf. Or, uh, because the time you get through cutting and cutting and cutting, you start changing the sizes uh, so much that uh, some things, because of the loss of the wood in the kerf, they just don't fit right. So I found that if I can just manage to do it and if I have the blades available, I will stay with a number three just to reduce that kerf. But what happens is if you look at this blade or if you're familiar with the number three, it's extremely narrow. And these lines are about twice, they're currently about twice the uh, thickness of the blade. Now, if you have a thicker blade, you can just go down the middle of the line and you'd probably be okay, even though it takes out a bigger curve, but at least you can follow the line. With the little blade, with the narrower blade, what happens is you can, I, in my case anyway, because I'm not that good at it, I have a tendency to wiggle. I may not go outside the black line, but I will wiggle back and forth within the black line. <clears throat> That's hard to compensate for just on every cut that you make. These kind of uh, cuts aren't a big deal as long as you don't back up. No matter what you do here, it's going to match. But unfortunately, what you do between this piece and this piece that's going to be an issue with the wiggly lines. So be aware that when you enlarge a, uh, a pattern like this, you're going to get those longer, wider, thicker, whatever lines. And it could cause a problem, especially if you're using a very, very small blade uh, or, you know, small kerf blade. So anyway, that's where it's at now. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start, uh, the next thing I'll have to start cutting these out and sanding and trying to fit. Um, so that will be the next uh, thing we'll take a look at. I think that was all I was want to uh, enlighten you on or say in this particular video. So I've got the main head cut out. It's time to start sanding and fitting and shaping a little bit and then when I come back We'll take a look at that and go from there. Okay? Thank you. Okay, that's it for part three. Uh, I, what I think I will do to, to show what I mean about the kerf is I've done a uh, an elephant in a segmentation and that it just drove me nuts because the, the trunk on the elephant was made up of I don't know, 50 uh, cuts that made it loop around and made it look like a, a tr an elephant's trunk. Anyway, I'm going to take a picture of that and uh, to show you uh, what I meant by kerf. Because this dragon doesn't have all that many big pieces uh, or little pieces where the kerf is going to be as unmanageable, especially in the body of this thing. The head may be a little bit of a problem, but I just want to show you there are some cuts, some uh, patterns of, where that little tiny kerf adds up to a big uh, issue. Um, the, when I, I'm just going to show a picture of that. I never filmed doing that or anything. Um, but the, at the end of this, uh, what, I, what you need to pay attention to is all of that trunk, especially. You have that much trunk now. When it started out, it was down like this, so that, that squeezing, that accordion effect of the trunk, it threw off all the parts around it um, to a degree where I had to modify almost everything around the trunk. Uh, anyway, I'll just put a picture of that in there for an FYI type thing, and then, you know, next time we'll see how bad the, the, the curve problems are going to be on the, on the dragon head. Anyway. Just stay tuned and it'll be right here and it'll last for 10 seconds. Thanks.